All right. Today, I will show you a quick and efficient way to get to the main loot of the hospital. And you can even do this at level 1. So, please stick around and let's get them drugs. Oh, I mean meds. Yeah, sorry, I mean meds. Welcome back everyone. So I'm playing 7 Days to Die. We are currently at Alpha 19.1 Stable Build. And this is what the hospital looks like on the front. And it's easily noticeable because of the uh, it's a tall building, but it also has a pop and pill sign on the front. And as well a, as a uh, pop and pills letters here on the front door. Now, typical to our easy loot videos, what you'll need to do is you're gonna have to uh, go to the left side of the building, not just on the left of the front door, this is the front door, but you're gonna have to go all the way to the left side. So let's go there. Did I show you I'm level one? Yes, I am level one. All right. So all we need to do is just craft some frames, we need around 50 maybe, alright, I've already done some of my earlier quests, which is to craft all of these other items. Now once the frames are done, we're gonna go ahead and nerd pole on this side of the building here. Alright, here we go. If I remember correctly, yeah, there shouldn't be any zombies here on the top, at least here on this side of the roof, or part of the roof. And nope, nothing there. Let's continue nerd pulling to this one here. So this is where you're gonna have to nerd pull all the way up. Now, actually not all the way up, but let me show you what I mean by that. So let's nerd pull here. So my apologies to the, uh, I guess, if I'm not using ladders, but if we have this option, then might as well continue using it, right? Okay. Now you gotta be uh, careful when you're on this part. Because here on the top of this roof here, there will be zombies. And to be on the safe side, what you can actually do is just maybe put some blocks here so that they won't fall on top of you all right go ah all right let's i guess we need to jump oh we need to put more here yeah i think that should be fine all right so here's the main loot now what I would suggest too is probably just put something here, you can easily pick it up anyway. Alright, just in case you need to quickly bolt out of here. Now this one here is a bit covered and this one's a bulletproof glass I think. So here you go, here's the main loot. Now let's see what the loot is when you're at level 1. So let me just crouch and let's go over them loots. Alright, typical. Okay. Cool. You have a sports bag here with only a can. Right. Some more medical supplies. And come on, give me something. A blunderbuss maybe. Ooh, a level 2 primitive bow, some ammo, 
Yes, it's a good stuff. Now, here's where it gets tricky because we might get to wake some zombies up once we start cracking this open. But, well, that's the purpose of this video, I guess. So, let's see. Alright, so far so good. Let's see what this has. More drugs. gas maybe some good tools right here a wrench or something oh a hammer a schematic all right okay thought it was a hammer an actual hammer not the schematics but that's still food that's still good all right popping pills box we have right we don't need this right now all right so in the last part, so this is the main, I guess you are the main, main loot. We have the hardened chest and this would be a bit more noisy than the other ones. So I won't spawn a uh, lockpick, even though I usually do just to shorten the video. But for this one, I'll probably just uh, speed the video up and if the zombies wake up, I'll uh, go back to normal, so at least, you know, you'll be able to uh, to know that zombies will wake up and you'll encounter some zombies, and what type of zombies. Fingers crossed that we don't. So anyway, let's start this one. Oh, well, immediately, there you go. We've woken up some zombies. So let's just continue here. And let's see if they drop. Nope, they're not dropping from the roof. They're coming over to this door, which has 300. So you can actually repair this while you're opening this, right? So keep that in mind. Let's grab this one to get more iron. I guess you need what? I think it needs iron scraps. Alright, so I'm gonna come back to you. Let me speed this up. Now the good thing about this is I think the hardened chest actually blocks the door so you can actually fight them from here without, well, with minimal risk. As long as you don't wake up the zombies here on the top, that should be fine. see if uh, we can fight all the zombies so at least you know when you're level one you can indeed do this place. oh there you go all right there you go there you go as long as you stay crouched and you don't make a lot of noise you should be good. All right, those two zombies are dead. Dead! So, just to make the video short, I've cut away the portion where I've spent a lot of time hacking away at this darn thing and looking at the top bar we had to spend more than two in-game hours just to break this chest. Alright, there you go. It's finally done. We've opened the chest. I mean, we've broken the chest. I hope it was all worth it, right? So... I haven't put anything on my lucky looter, so I guess that's one thing that maybe you can do is try to put a lucky looter here, maybe a point on your starting uh, free points when you start the game. So let's open this. Okay, look at this! A chemistry station schematic! 
nice. We got some good armor here. I would have preferred maybe a uh, iron pickaxe, but I don't. I think they fixed the game stage so that you won't get that very early in the game. But this will do. This will do. All right. For me, I think it was worth it. This one's also cool. It purifies any water consumed when installed in your helmet. So we have a helmet. Nice. So there you go. A quick and relatively safe way to get to the main loot of the hospital. And we've just done this on my level 1 character. So just to let you know why we don't want to wake up the folks on the top of the roof here. I will go on fly mode and let me just show you what's on top here. There you go. Even at level 1, they are there. So just keep that in mind. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you find the information useful. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit that like button and hey, this channel is all about gaming. So if that's the type of content you like watching, please subscribe and click that notification bell. As always, stay safe and thanks for watching. This is Kenra, signing off.